Welcome back to Living 808. If you are a homeowner, your house is probably your single biggest investment. So shouldn't you take care of it? Here to talk about how a well-maintained roof can help protect the market value of your property, Sandra Tory from Tory's Roofing. Hello, thank you so Hello. much for joining us. <laughs> we had a great segment with you this morning on Take Two. We talked about um, how people wait, right, until the rainy season to, yeah. to do improvements on the roof, and by then it's too late. Mm -hmm. um, so if you miss that segment, you can go to k22.com to check it out. Today, though, we're talking about, unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there that de tend to delay mm -hmm. uh, their roof maintenance. Why do you think that is? Well, I think that the roof is something that's kind of sometimes out of sight, out of mind. You know, you're rushing in and out of your home a lot. You're just trying to get to work and get your day going, get your kids fed. You know, it's just, it's one of those things that you don't always think about, not to mention it's a it's expensive. It can be expensive, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but it is so important. important. Yeah. It is so important. I mean, I agree with you. Out of sight, out of mind. Mm -hmm. um, but once you, you know, once you've damaged your roof, I mean, really, yeah. you know, maintenance is so important. Let's talk about that. You know, keeping your roof in good condition is protecting your biggest investment. Absolutely. You know, real estate, right? You spend so much money on buying a home and to neglect one of the biggest parts of your home is kind of unfortunate um, because say for example you want to sell your home but your roof is leaking or it looks terrible that's going to really downgrade the value of your home you're not going to be able to receive as much as you could and it just it protects the longevity of your home inside you know a lot of people think oh it's just the roof but if your roof has problems that your whole house has problems not to mention your family you know right. and, that is so true because <coughs> I, I had mentioned this earlier. We had a leaky, we had a leak, mm -hmm. and so it ruined the drywall inside. So then it ends up costing you more money. Right? Then you got to get a drywall person and yes. carpenter sometimes, a new painter. Yeah. Sometimes the flooring it needs compounds. to be changed. Yes. Um, but we did also mention that, you know, out of sight, out of mind. You know, a lot of people will notice if they need landscaping work or a new paint job. but. Um, earlier on take two, you gave us some quick and easy tips. So one of them was to walk around the perimeter of your yeah. home. Just walk around the perimeter of your home. One of the things, too, that I think is not always thought of is trees. Oh. You know, if you have trees that are hovering over your roof, we just had a project where, so unfortunate, but a huge tree branch snapped and fell on the home um, and just put a huge hole through the roof. and. You know, things like that. So we, we do suggest trimming trees, um, also leaves, debris, clear your gutters. If you, if you see that you have um, leaves up there, if you don't, you know, want to get up there yourself, ask your nephew or call, sure, you know, sure. somebody to help you to just sweep those leaves off um, because the weight, the debris, sometimes there can be like mold and mildew mm -hmm. that's accumulating with rain and debris on the roof. Right. So. And it's going to cost you more in the long run. Um, we're almost out of time, but I have a couple more questions. What is the first step to take if you want to ensure your house has a good roof? I would say if you're, you're looking at your roof, know the longevity. Long, know how old your roof is. So if you're in between 15 to 20 years, just get an estimate, get an assessment. Estimates are free, you know. Um, just to have someone come out and take a look at it, you, you might be able to get a few more years, but at least so you know, you know, you can budget for it. Sure. sure. And there are lots of different types of roofs, right? There are oh, some yes. that's maybe prettier than others. Yes, absolutely. You know, I always say, as a woman in the roofing industry, I have to kind of relate it. And so I look at the roof as the eyebrows of a house, ah. right? So <laughs> if you have crazy eyebrows and that are not well kept and you know, it kind of changes the whole look of your face, right? <laughs> you, so um, I love that analogy. Yeah, yes. so that's the same idea with a home. You have a nice, well kept, beautiful roof. It just makes your whole home look just so on point. Yes. I love that, um, and I can relate to that. Yes. <laughs> Sandra, thank you so much. Thank Again, you. it's Sandra from Tory's Roofing. Uh, they've been around forever, right? It's a family-owned business, yeah. local company. Yeah. Um, so we encourage folks to go and check them out, and we'll have your contact information on our website. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much.